Giovanni van Bronckhorst has been talking about Michael Beale, and I thought there were some interesting comments in there and we may as well get stuck in because Gio has finally came clean on Michael Beale and that Ibrox appearance. Welcome back to the channel and if anyone's wondering what we're on about with that Ibrox appearance because of course Gio was under pressure and who was up in the hospitality suite Joking about with an injured Connor Goldson at the time, it was none other than Michael Beale. A pretty dirty tactic in my eyes. I mean, I fought it at the time and I, and I fought it now. Like, as much as most of us wanted Gio out at the time, right, it was still a pretty scumbag manoeuvre from Michael Beale, who was linked with the job, to turn up in the hospitality suite like that while... Geo is under pressure. I mean, that's just, I mean, I wouldn't say it's unheard of. I'm, I'm sure across the world of football it has happened before, but to actually see it firsthand was pretty bizarre. And you know what? To see Geo call it maybe at like what, a year, 18 months later, sort of thing, it's still refreshing to see. So we'll, we'll go into his comments here and see exactly about what Geo van Brank, Brank, Brankhorst Brank Brank said. When I, most people did label it as, um, it was a classless act, my friends, but uh, Gio absolutely fumed at it, and I, I think rightfully so. And that's exactly what Gio said. He said, I don't think you should really do that as a fellow manager. You shouldn't sit in the stands at a match where your colleague is feeling the pressure at that moment. I would never have done that, end of quote. And you know what? For the people that might not have seen it at the time or called out at the time for Beale, I mean, I guess he was going to be our new manager. You kind of had to back him because, right, right, Gio was the past, Beale's the future, even if it was a pretty shady move, and we should have really seen the writing on the wall as soon as Beale was pulling out, things like that. But it's just a fit. It is. I think it just sums up Beale. He's been labelled as like a snake in the grass, and some of his treatment of the players, like his man management, and it just it sums him up. It's not a good look. It really ain't a good look, and I kind of feel sorry for Gio that it happened, because where else, would, where else would you get that? And I think you've also got to look at the players. I mean, look at Connor Goldson. Is it not a bit disgusting for Goldson's point of view that while his fellow, his current manager, was under so much pressure, he's sitting in the hospitality suite laughing up with Michael Beale? I think that's a bit mental. Not that, not that it's all Goldson's fault, I'm not saying that, but I mean, it's not exactly a good look for Goldson in that department. But for Gio, I think he's right to say that, and, and he's right. If the roles were first and it was Bale under pressure first and Gio was linked with the job second, he absolutely wouldn't have done that. And I think there's very few managers that would do it. Unless, I mean, unless there's a, an actual... But then, I was going to say like a beef between the two managers. I guess a lot of managers have beef, but... If you've got if you've got love for a club, right, and you want the job, would you? I think you would put them to one side, and you wouldn't really um, expose yourself in that manner. But it's a shame it never really worked out with either manager. Um, but obviously, Gio did deliver the better moments. He won us the Scottish Cup, got us to a Europa League final, and um, while Michael Beale just produced one of the worst summer transfer windows in living memory, it was horrendous. And of course, we had that thing. I believe it was at the Hydro. Where we had Jim White hosting, it was like a Rangers, not a Legends night, but you had Jack Butland there, you had Sunnis there, um, and they were talking about the season. And Clement actually revealed that because of what happened in the summer, he had no permanent money to spend. It all had to be loan signs in January, which, of course, was actually denied by the board previous to the window opening that Clement would have money to spend. So, obviously, Clement getting stuck in there and actually saying that's not exactly the case, but we knew that. And I think that pretty much sums it up. I think that pretty much sums he did. He did talk about the fact that the money would be took from the summer budget. So is that is that to be taken with a pinch of salt in the sense of, well, yeah, everyone we signed, we alone to buy, that'll be taken from the summer budget, or could we have signed a Lauren Shankland, say, for four million, and then just took it out the summer transfer budget? Because when you look at that Motherwell game, we could have absolutely done with that. But anyway, guys, my throat is absolutely aching. Geo, damn, we called out Michael Beale. Michael Beale's away for Sunderland. I seen that the who's the Swansea boss at the minute? I'm not too sure. I know it was Russell Martin, but that's probably like three seasons ago. Come out and said that Michael Beale was doing a great job at Sunderland. What? What is going on there? Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Until next time, peace.